Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. Be proud that you got through that difficult moment. To everybody else, it was just a day, but for you, it was a mountain to climb. Now, I can talk from experience about these things. When you've experienced something in your life, and you've gone through something, and actually just before you go through it, or perhaps something's just thrown on you in life, and you've got to deal with it there and then, I know the feeling of what it feels like of that when you don't feel you can bear it, you don't feel you can get through that moment, and you think that life comes crashing down and you're never going to be able to take a step forward, and then you do, and then you do, and then you look back on and you think to yourself, wow, I've done that, and it's important to acknowledge when that happens, and it's so, so important to acknowledge that, do you know what, well done, you got through it, congratulate yourself, because you got through it, that is so huge for your mental well-being and just for your overall self, okay, that actually you got through it, you were able to do that and acknowledging that inside your head that actually if you're thinking, oh my god, how am I going to do this, how am I going to do this, going on into the future, if you got through one of the hardest days and it can be anything, it can be financial, it can be relationship, it can be family, it can be bereavement, it can be your own health, it can be absolutely anything. If the worst thing in the world has happened to you and you think to yourself that life is too much to bear and you cannot get through this, I promise you, my friend who is watching this, you will. You will get through this because you are stronger than you think. Now, this doesn't, this doesn't have to be, okay, this doesn't have to be simple. It doesn't have to be easy because it's not, it, it really isn't, but when you actually take your time and you forget about everything else which is yet to come and you just concentrate on the now, because sometimes life is so much and life is so much to do with and for people who are really, really struggling with just taking one step at a time in life, hypothetically, and can barely think one, one, one day further than the next, just don't. Concentrate on the right now. If you've got something to do today and something has happened to you or you're going through one hell of a situation, just concentrate on today. If you can't even do that, concentrate on a couple of hours first of all. And then when you get there, think to yourself that actually, do you know what? I've made it this far today. I'm going to take a few breaths. I'm going to concentrate on the now and on the moment right now because tomorrow we're not there yet. So let tomorrow worry about itself. Okay. And concentrate on the right now. And when today is done and you get to close that door on the day, it's done. And congratulate yourself that you actually got through that. Now, I don't mean go out and do something absolutely huge or something, I don't, I don't know, one of many things. But literally, just all you have to do is take a deep breath, even look at yourself in the mirror and take a deep breath and say to yourself, okay, you've done it. You've got this. You, you, you're going to get there because you are. And I promise that you are. You may think, how on earth have I got to this point to be able to say this to you? And how do you know that you're going to get there? Well, because I've been there. Many of things in my life, to be honest with you, in the last couple of years. For example, facing operations, facing, unfortunately, operations through no fault of my own, through something originally went wrong with an original surgery I had, but losing my nan. My nan is my absolute world. And the day she left this world, I really did think that actually, I'll be honest, that it wasn't going to be long and that perhaps... I was going to give up on life, to be quite honest with you. But when the time come, how just life has a way of working things out, faith for me is a huge, a huge factor and a huge path. The Lord above, uh, for me, is a huge guidance and a huge encouragement. And my family mean the world to me, but there have been times in my life where I have thought to myself, do you know what, I, I can't do this, I can't do this. And I've had times where... I've never had rock bottom moments in my life, and I can I can very clearly say that, and I and I know that a lot of people have, and for what I'm saying, I hope I can almost hold that hand out to say that actually, do you know what? No matter how bad a situation gets, and I know I'm being quite forthright here, and if it's not correct and if it's not appropriate for somebody who's watching this right now my apologies and my heart goes out to you but there is not many situations if any at all in this world okay that actually can't be resolved or can't be improved or can't be brought back onto the right road as to speak 
There's not many. There are some horrific things which happen to very good, amazing people in this world. And sometimes, unfortunately, there is there is no way of us being able to control that. And um, I think that's a lot of what makes us quite frightened in this life and quite stressed and anguished. And, and what on earth do I do now? And I can't go on with this. I can't keep going on like this because the inevitable is that we, we have we've lost control of a certain situation. What's happened? But what I would say to you right now is simply that just just concentrate on the right now. Leave whatever is ahead of you tomorrow in a couple of hours' time or next week or next month or whatever's coming up, the right now. There's a saying which gets me through a lot in this life that none of us are promised a tomorrow. And if we are, we must grab it with both hands and we must run with it. Now, I know that a lot of people will think that actually that means nothing to me because of the way I'm feeling I'm not even wanting to be in tomorrow. Well, like I say to you, concentrate on today. Concentrate on today. And it is so, so important that once you get today over with, to congratulate yourself and to look in that mirror and look back at yourself and say, do you know what? You are stronger than you think. And if you think back to yourself in that reflection, you go, no, I'm not. You've proved to yourself today that you are because you've got through today. My friend, if you're watching this, you're stronger than you think. You will get there. There is many, many things in this life to knock you down, and unfortunately, it will. There's nothing in this world I'm going to be able to say to you which is going to stop that from happening because that is life, unfortunately. And life is not easy, but when you think about it, something so incredible, and I know you're going through something awful now, but something such incredible of all the opportunities and all the wonderful things in this world today, why on earth would it be easy? You will get there. And do you know what? Quote from one of my favorite films, okay, or one of my favorite actresses. You can deal with anything because you've already dealt with everything. So look back in that mirror when you get there and you're through that moment. And actually, if you're, if you're watching this after you've gone through something, acknowledge. Perhaps it was a couple of days ago. Perhaps it was a couple of weeks ago. And perhaps acknowledge and you think to yourself, actually, do you know what? That was a hell whole part of my life that I'm through it. And actually, do you know what? I never acknowledged that. A great thing which I do sometimes is to take a scrap piece of paper. OK, take a scrap piece of paper. And if you've got something which is playing on your mind or something which is stressing you or something which you've gone through, just write it down. It doesn't even have to be a sentence, just a couple of words. Then it's not up here. It's on paper. So you can acknowledge that it's happened. It's not up here anymore. And if you've got through it, amazing. If you haven't yet, and if it's not today, don't worry about it. Put it aside. Because getting through today sometimes or getting through just a moment sometimes is hard enough as it is. And once you're through that, it is so, so, so important. I cannot stress to you enough. It is so, so important to acknowledge that actually you got through it. You're stronger than you think. You're tougher than you think. And you will get through that, my friend. You really will. And on the opposite side, those little, those little things make us little bit by little bit stronger and stronger. And in the end, we start to learn from these things. We develop emotional strength mental health strength, well-being strength. And in the end, these processes, what we go through, make us stronger to be able to deal with further things in the future. I really hope that helps you. So just remember, if you've gone through something difficult, or if you're in the process of it, bear in mind, get through today first. But once you've dealt with that difficult situation, be kind to yourself, congratulate yourself. You will get there, my friend. I promise you that. Thank you for being here. God bless you. Take great care and I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.